Hey guys, so a lot has happened in the months of September, October, and November. So if you are thinking about purchasing a house here in the North Dallas area or selling your home in the North Dallas area, you want to know how much your house is worth and we've got the numbers to show you. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Gus and Carla, your Dallas real estate agents. We help families just like yours buy, sell, invest, and relocate here into the DFW area. Make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so. Uh, hit the notification bell as well so you can stay up to date with all of our content that we post each and every week. So let's start off with the city of Aubrey. This month in the month of November or last month, there was 73 houses that sold versus 56, sorry, 58 the month of October. It looks like price is staying pretty consistent. The average is 427. And days on the market looks like went up just a tad bit by 71 days versus they were in the 60s the prior month. The average listed versus sold is still at 97%. So that tells us that houses are getting listed a little bit higher than most people are putting offers in. So this could be that they're being listed higher than they actually should be or that the buyers with the high interest rates just aren't willing to pay that much for homes. And the price per square foot is still very, very much the same with 196 versus 195 last month. The most expensive house that sold in Aubrey for the month of November was in Sand Rock Ranch, and it was for $800,000. All right, guys, jumping in to the city of Salina, let's look at those numbers. Uh, 56 homes were sold in the month of November in Salina. 716,000 was your average price home versus 610 the previous month. And that has to do with the most expensive home sold in Salina for the month of November, which was for 2.3 million in the community of Mustang Lakes. I'm just getting ahead of myself, but that has to do a lot with it. Um, that way you, you, know, you can see the, the difference there in a number. Uh, six to nine days is your average days in the market for, for you home sellers. Um, six, uh, 96 percent, you know, listed versus sold. So they are getting sold, uh, you know, below listing price. Uh, 237,000 was your average per square feet. Um, and again, you can go back to um, 2.3 million in Mustang, Mustang Lakes was your most expensive home, which jumps, uh, you know, jumps up the prices there a little bit. Okay, so up next we have the city of Frisco, which we've said in the past has tons of activity still. The PJ's coming in, still a lot of people looking to move into the city of Frisco. So the homes that were sold in November were 162 versus 175. So still very consistent, not a huge difference. Average priced home right now in the city of Frisco is 782. Reason being, again, is because some of the homes that are being sold are on the higher price end. So it is bringing the average up. We should see that come down um, probably December and January. So hang tight, just look at the numbers. Um, 55 days on the market is the average of how long these houses are staying on the market. With higher prices come higher days on the market. So keep that in mind. They are being sold for 97% less than listed versus last month when they were sold 98% versus what was being listed. So they are coming down um, in price. Buyers are not offering full asking price. They are trying to negotiate. So if you are a seller, keep that in mind. And the average price per square foot is 241. So it did increase from the previous month. I think what we're seeing though, even though interest rates are really high right now is buyers are not scared and they're still going out there and they're still purchasing houses because overall, consistency on these houses is there are more houses being sold and the price is kind of going up um, as far as price per square foot and homes that are being sold and overall average price. Just keep an eye on the numbers and I would wait and see what December has to tell us. We should have a more firm idea of what the prices are going to look like going into 2023. These also do include um, new home builds yeah. so also keep that in mind and you know with with several and tons of new communities is still being developed mm -hmm. around here in North Dallas area, you know, so so these do include new builds. They do, they do. And Frisco has a lot of higher end subdivisions yep. that are in the millions. So yep. actually the most expensive house that sold in Frisco was for 3.2 million in Starwood. 
so that is has a lot to do with why the prices are you know super high up there yeah tons of people want to be in frisco uh it's like a very popular hub tons, lots to do lots to do lots of entertainment very close to dallas downtown mm -hmm. dallas so it's a great location if you are looking to move into frisco give us a call for the city of little elm i feel like little elm doesn't get talked about much because it's little because it's little <laughs> that's a good one she came up with that just on her own look at that um but it is super uh you know it's a, it's affordable compared to some of the other ones other cities around and all location. these cities are yeah the locations i mean they're all really close to each other um so let's look at the let's look at the numbers um 87 homes were sold in little elm in november um sorry oh. Sorry. No, it's good. You good? Okay. Yeah, Let's we're keep good. going. We're good. Uh, 456000 is your average priced home uh, for November uh, versus 469 the previous month. So it did come down a little bit. 60 days is your average days in the market. So 97% lower than listed. Same as the previous month. Very uh, similar to other cities around. Uh, that just means that uh, houses are just getting sold. A little bit lower than what they're being listed at. Uh, 201,000 is your average per square foot. And the most expensive home sold was at the Valencia on the lake, and that was for 760,000. Yes, it was a beautiful home, and that is a beautiful community. And I think the reason why there isn't ton, like the days on the market are a little bit higher. Here's the thing, Little Elm has a great location. Yeah. But not a lot of people know about Little Elm, people from out of state. They're probably looking at major cities like Frisco, McKinney, um, but Little Elm has a really, really great location and it's affordable. I think that's one of the reasons why they're staying on the market a little bit longer than the other cities. But I think Little Not by Elm, much, though. yeah, overall, and I mean, it's if you're looking to be close to things and close to Frisco and you don't have the budget to move into Frisco, Little Elm is a great choice. Okay, so up next is McKinney. McKinney is super popular, just like Frisco. Lots of people trying to get in there. So the amount of homes that actually sold in McKinney was a little bit lower than the previous month. They sold 144 homes versus 194 in October. Also something to keep in mind is the holidays. So we're in the holidays. Yeah. Not a lot of people are trying to move. You know, only the people that have to move are the ones actually moving right now. The average price per home is 526,000, which is great for McKinney. Average days on the market, 38 days. So still houses are, you know, it is a very popular area. Houses are getting taken up yeah. within average time frame, but they're definitely not staying on the market as long as the other cities that we're seeing. And they are selling for about 97% lower than listed. So there is a lot of negotiations going on. And the average price per square foot is at 216. It came down from last month, 221. And if you follow the trends, it has significantly dropped since like six months ago. Mm -hmm. So McKinney, very popular spot. If you're trying to get into McKinney and you're looking to per possibly purchase in McKinney, now would be a great time. I know the interest rates are high, but again, interest rates are gonna come down. So if you can get into your dream house now and pay a little bit more for a couple months and wait till the interest rates drop, now's a great time because the average priced home is 526 and that tells us that there's homes below that because that's just right. your average. Um, the most expensive home that sold was for 1.2 million at Wellington Point. Great time to get into the city of McKinney if that's ultimately where you're trying to purchase. Yeah, going back to the rate um, mm -hmm. just a little bit, there are programs out there uh, from lenders that um, are specifically targeted at interest rates. So you could potentially get you know your, your first two or three years uh, at a really great interest rate. Okay, let's get into the city of Prosper. 59 homes there you go. were sold <laughs> in the uh, month of November in Prosper. Um, 847,000 is your average price home. 49 days in the market is your average days in the market. If you are looking to um, you know, put your house up in the market, just know that it's gonna be 30 plus mm -hmm. days here in Prosper. 96% uh, average listed versus sold. So they are getting sold lower than listed. Mm -hmm. uh, your average price uh, per square foot is 255. And the most expensive home sold is uh, was at Whispering Farms 
for 1.7 million. Yeah, so if you are looking to purchase in the city of Prosper, do know ahead of time that you are looking to drop a really good amount of money. Like that is just the average, you guys. 840,000 is just the average on your average home. Yeah. If again, Prosper IC totally worth it. But do know that there are other subdivisions that will still allow you to go to Prosper ISD without having to be an actual Prosper. So those options are great if you if you're on a budget and you're trying to um, stay in Prosper ISD. There are some great options for you. So give us a call if you want more information about that. But there's you know just just know there's options out there for you. Okay, and last but not least, we have the city of Princeton, which again, not a lot of people know, not a lot of people have heard about it, and it's got a really great location because it's like 15 minutes from McKinney. Yeah. How homes that were sold is actually the same, 47 were sold last month and 47 were sold this month. The average price per home is 309. You guys, that's a steal in right. this market. So if you are relocating from out of state or you are looking to upgrade as far as like get more um square footage in your house or you're looking for a bigger house your family's growing princeton is a great option without having to break the bank they are being they are staying on the market 74 days on average versus last month that was 44 so that's a really big jump um i think the reason behind that too is you've got the holidays and again not tons of people know about princeton um so they're not moving as quickly as some of your more popular areas like frisco and prosper and you know mckinney you know 74 days still not horrible for this market and i think a lot of people are just you know they don't know where the interest rates are going so a lot of buyers are holding back and like yeah hey i'm gonna wait till next year but you know it's a deal like it's a steal in princeton they are selling for 96 percent lower than listed versus last month it was 98 so they are dropping again lots of negotiations your average square foot is 189 so not bad and the most expensive house that sold in princeton was for 439,000. that was in white wings trail okay well there you have it guys we hope that this information was super good that it was very informational and educational for you guys we enjoy making these videos for you guys. Um, it keeps us up to date on what is going on. Again, we're very focused on these specific areas, but if you don't live in one of these cities and you wanna know how much your house is worth, or you're looking to buy in one of these cities or the near uh, North Dallas area, do give us a call. We'd be more than happy to help. Yeah, guys, so I uh, just wanna say thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. Uh, again, hit that like button and that subscribe button so you can uh, you know, stay up to date with all of our content. We love doing videos like this to keep you, the viewers, uh, you know, up to date with what the real estate market is doing here in these cities and uh, here in the North Dallas area. All right, guys, so we will see you next time. Bye.